purification of M13 phage DNA. Another DNA which has been widely used as a cloning vector and also for purposes such as uh, sequencing. Uh, therefore, there is a need to isolate the DNA from the M13 phages. So, let us look at the learning outcomes of this session. M13 DNA has been used as a cloning vector for many recombinant studies, thereby leading to establishing protocol for its isolation. M13 phage has an infection cycle with multiplication happening inside a host bacteria without getting integrated into the host genome. So there is no lysogeny in case of M13 phages and neither causing lysis of the host. So neither is there a lytic cycle for the M13 phages unlike the lambda uh, phages. The removal of the protein coat is the main step in the purification of the M13 DNA. Being very small in size, the phages have to be definitely effectively collected and processed thereby for isolation of DNA. Let us now look at the life cycle of the lambda phages. Uh, I'm sorry, the M13 phages. So the M13, which is a filamentous bacteriophage, has a linear DNA as its genome. And uh, the M13 particle is able to attach itself to the pilus, which are specialized structures present on the host bacteria. And the pilus is basically uh, uh, generally used for um, conjugation purposes, but you can have pilus uh, in length anywhere from very short to very long. But uh, the M13 particle uses this pilus structure for attachment and then injecting the DNA into the bacterial host. Once inside the bacterial host, the linear DNA gets circularized to form a single-stranded DNA. Now, interestingly, this single-stranded DNA of M13 has been used for in situ mutagenesis, sequencing, etc. When the single-stranded DNA has to go in for replication, it forms a double-stranded DNA, and this double-stranded DNA is a replicative form of the M13. So this replicative form of M13 is actually replicating by rolling circle mechanism. This double-stranded circular DNA is also very similar to plasmid DNA and is therefore widely used as a cloning vector. Now, once you have the... Um, double-stranded DNA formed within the host bacteria as, as mentioned through, through um, rolling circle mechanism, you will find that uh, there are multiple numbers of the uh, double-stranded DNA form of M13 being formed. And therefore, um, this enables formation of a very high copy number. And you can imagine that if one cell has several copies and there are several bacteria having within them several copies of M13 DNA, some total of the M13 DNA will be quite high. And therefore, uh, one doesn't really have to do much except growing the bacteria in the culture and allowing the M13 to multiply within the bacterial cells. Interestingly, the mature M13 phages which are formed inside the host cell are released into the surrounding uh, without lysis of the uh, bacterial cell. So, therefore, we understand that as you have the bacterial cell not getting lysed, you may have continuously uh, replication of the DNA happening forming of the mature phages and the phages going out from the DNA. This becomes a continuous process. And therefore, because it is a continuous process, over time, the density of mature phage particles in the supernatant will increase. So the continuous release of new phages without lysis of the host thereby increases the phage titer without any special need of altering the phages. Now let us look at the methodology of isolation of M13 phage DNA, which is much, much simpler than that of the lambda phage DNA. Now, the cells which are infected with the M13 are cultured in a specific volume 
and having cultured the dna uh, sorry having cultured the cells it it is sent, uh, the the uh, the 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 culture is centrifuged and the bacteria which is heavier and larger can get pelleted as cells while the m13 being much smaller in size will remain in suspension once the supernatant is collected the supernatant that has the m13 is treated with peg that is polyethylene glycol polyethylene glycol is a polymer that can adhere to m13 and several m13s can come together to form an aggregate so basically the m13 as an aggregate becomes bulkier and then when centrifugation is carried out the m13 phages are obtained as a concentrated pellet again the supernatant is discarded and the m13 phage pellet is resuspended once it is resuspended it is treated with protein uh, for protein denaturation by phenol chloroform and uh, when one mixes it with phenol chloroform the phenol is going to denature the proteins and after centrifugation one gets three layers the aqueous layer has the m13 dna the middle buffy layer is that of the denatured protein and of course one has the organic phase which is the phenol per se now the supernatant which is the aqueous layer uh, that contains the m13 dna is taken into another tube and then it is subjected to ethanol precipitation with ethanol precipitation and centrifugation m13 is obtained as a pellet and that m13 is resuspended again in a small volume of either water or buffer for further use in different experiments this is how therefore m13 phage dna is isolated with the similarity with the lambda phage dna purification being the use of polyethylene glycol and deprotonation so protein removal by use of the phenol chloroform system therefore make let us make the conclusions m13 phage infects the host cells through pilus which is a specialized structure on the bacteria replicates its dna by rolling circle mechanism and the mature phages are released without cell lysis this is the most simple and interesting part of m13 phage and therefore it is very attractive for scientists to use m13 dna as cloning vectors the m13 dna can be single stranded or they can be double stranded and this double stranded is the replicative form both single stranded and double stranded forms of the m13 can be used for various studies a good phage titer is obtained by just culturing the host cells the supernatant will not contain any bacterial dna as the bacteria is not lysed so the supernatant which will have only the phage will also give relatively pure m13 dna the m13 phages although need to get concentrated using peg because they are very small and so by simple centrifugation they do not centrifuge out so therefore using peg they are concentrated and collected and then processed using phenol to remove the proteins and get pure dna thus m13 phages are simple to culture and simple to isolate dna as the major step is only to remove the protein coat thank you